Every winter thrush's survey location must have a fixed linear route which is mapped by the observer and ideally we would also have a record of the areas that were searched during that walk. The observer defines both the route and the area in the survey's database and can edit them at any time uh, using the, the survey's mapping tool. It's the final versions of both the route and the area that will provide data for the survey's analyses. And route length and survey area will be taken to apply to every visit you've made to your square. To define the survey area, use the mapping tool to draw one or more polygons. These can be edited later if anything needs changing. So to make sure that you create a valid polygon, you must avoid any overlaps and the best advice on drawing them is to keep your polygons relatively simple. So I'm just going to take you through how to draw polygons and here is my data home page. Uh, here is my menu of options and I'm going to choose square setup. Um, this is the map that I want to draw a polygon for. It's um, showing me a tick to show that I've drawn the route. And there is the, the route that I've drawn for this walk. The uh, area is not recorded, so I'm going to, to start that by uh, going to polygon mode. And I'm in polygon mode. I've got the, the pen as my tool and the whole screen, is, the whole box has gone green to show that I'm in polygon draw mode. Again, we're going to start with a click and I'm going to click all the way around the outside. You can see that as I'm doing this, there's a line from the cursor back to the starting point at all times, which can be a little disconcerting, uh, but uh, it's not really, it's not a problem. And double click to finish, um, submit to uh, send that data to our database. And it's in the database, safely there. Uh, actually, it's not quite what I wanted, so I'm going to go back and edit it uh, by pressing the uh, uh, polygon mode again. Um, and to choose my polygon, I click on the edge, and all the points that I put in are back on the screen. Um, and actually, I've realized that there is a bit in the middle here that I can't view from my route. So I'm actually going to move some of these points uh, inside the route to reflect that. Um, every time I, I move an intermediate point I get more points to play with. Here's where I have to be really careful not to create an overlap, but the area that I'm looking at is actually far more like that with a hole in the middle. I can bring those edges a little closer together by zooming in and panning the map. And provided I don't create any overlaps, I can record my map like that. So I'm going to submit my map and press edit again to show you how the database looks now a circular route with a hole in the middle.